We're now at 3.2b, which is the second part of 3.2. We're going to learn about absolute values of rational numbers. In video 1.3a, we learned that a number's absolute value is its distance from zero. Absolute values are always positive numbers because the absolute value of a number is its distance from zero. Distances are always positive numbers because distance doesn't indicate a direction from zero. Two miles east is the same distance as two miles west. It's two miles. So the absolute value of any number is a positive number. The absolute value of a rational number is its distance from zero. The absolute value of negative two and one-fourth, here's two, it's going to be a little farther away from zero, but not quite half, so it's going to be closer to the line where two is. It's one, two, and one-fourth jumps from zero. The absolute value of negative two and one-fourth is two and one-fourth, and it's a positive two and one-fourth. So be careful when you're using a number line and you're dealing with decimals or fractions. We learned about fractions and decimals and their equivalents in fourth grade math chapter nine, and I'll have a link to those videos in this description. But here's zero, here's negative one. So 0.5, that's negative half. That's gonna be halfway between zero and the negative one. And 25 hundredths, that's one fourth. That's gonna be in between zero and half. That's gonna be right here. And negative 75 hundredths, that's a negative three fourths. That's gonna be in between half and negative one. Okay? To use a number line to find absolute value, the first thing we do is graph the point on the number line. Then we find the distance. It jumps from zero. So for negative one and eight tenths, here's one. Eight tenths is going to be very close to two, but not past two. We can see that it's one and eight tenths jumps from zero, so its absolute value is going to be one and eight tenths. We can see we jumped one and then the eight tenths. For a positive two, it's one, two jumps from zero. The absolute value of two is two. Here it's telling us to graph each number, then use the number line to find each absolute value. Negative three and five tenths, that's negative three and a half. We're gonna to go to the left. Here's negative three. Negative three and a half is gonna be in between negative three and negative four. It's gonna be halfway between. So it's right here. And its absolute value is its distance from zero. So we can count the jumps. It's one, two, three and a half from zero. So its absolute value is three and a half. Three and five tenths. Here we have a positive six and one fourth. So it's gonna be farther right than six and one fourth if this is one half right halfway right here, one fourth is going to be closer to six. So it's going to be about right here. It's not halfway. It's a little closer to six. Its absolute value is going to be, counting the jumps, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one fourth. And we just learned about opposites in the previous video, 3.2a. Opposites are on opposite sides of zero on a number line, but they have the same absolute value, the same distance from zero. Here's negative three. Its opposite is positive three. They're both three jumps from zero. The absolute value of negative three is three, and the absolute value of a positive three is three. 
Here it's telling us to find the absolute value of negative 2 and 3 tenths. So we think negative 2 and 3 tenths is farther from 0 than negative 2. So it's going to be farther down. 2 and a half is halfway between negative 2 and negative 3. So negative 2 and 3 tenths is closer to the negative 2 than that halfway point. So negative 2 and 3 tenths is going to be about right here. And we can count the jumps. It's absolute value. We're going to go 1, 2, and then that 3 tenths. So its absolute value is 2 and 3 tenths. And we can actually just take away the negative symbol. Look. The absolute value of negative 2 and 3 tenths is 2 and 3 tenths. If we just take away that negative symbol, we've got our absolute value. If this was a positive 2 and 3 tenths, it would still be 2 and 3 tenths because the absolute value is a distance and it's always a positive number. Our next lesson is split into a couple parts, 3.3a. We're going to be doing comparing and ordering rational numbers. In the first part, we're going to be talking about equivalent fractions and decimals. Then in the second part, we're actually going to be ordering rational numbers. So if you missed the lesson 1.3a about absolute value, that'll be linked in the description. If you're confused about the fractions and decimals and the conversion, you can see the links for the 4th grade Math Chapter 9 videos. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Hit that like button if you understood, and I'll see you next time. Bye.